Kick it. at the digital experience at CES for 2008 and I'm here in the FileMaker booth and uh, talking with Ryan Rosenberg and uh, I came as a new iPhone uh, uh, user uh, I'm trying to learn how to benefit uh, how to get the benefits and productivity out of the combination of the iPhone and the Mac uh, uh, laptop itself how can your new product uh, help me in that quest well, you've got information on your Mac, such as information in address book and iCal, plus you've got files and photos. And this new $49 database brings together all that information to help you get more organized. What's really important, though, is it works on top of address book and iCal. So if you add more contacts to this database or items to your calendar, it'll sync automatically to your iPhone. In fact, I use it that way myself. I keep all my contacts in there and keep all my addresses in there. Here's the thing, though. If you're using address book and you want to add additional information into the address book on the Mac, you can't do it. Let's say that you have your Christmas card list and you want to mark all the people that you send a Christmas card to. You can't do it. With this database, you can do it. Furthermore, you can go beyond that. You can start to track other types of things you might be interested in, home inventory, or maybe you have a business on the side. You can eBay business. You can keep track of all the things that you're selling on eBay. You can uh, keep track of... Um, of customers if you have a, a business and, and, and you know, what you might have sent them and, and things they might have sent you. Uh, you can keep track of files. So it's the idea of organizing yourself and bringing all that information together. Well, uh, I'm about a year ago started the, tra the transition from the PC world into the, into the Mac world. And uh, that was one of the things that I noticed because I haven't shifted my address book. I still ha have that on, on, on PC uh, uh, platforms. And when I started to, when I got the iPhone, I started this laborious process. I was very frustrated not being able to add additional information as, as you had, had spoken of. Now, um, uh, Apple's come out with the, uh, uh, with the iWork series and then of course the, the new uh, uh, revised iPhoto yep. that uh, came out. Um, how, with, yeah, with, with, the, with the new iLife, uh, how does your uh, application complement uh, what you find in iLife? Well, th again, iLife is a great suite and it lets you create all this information, such as photos. But what, uh, what Bento lets you do is to organize all that information and bring it together. So you can bring your photos in. Like, there's a good example. You've got a photo of somebody that you're bringing in here, or you might be uh, having photos of a trip. You can um, link those up to the um, people you might have met on the trip and also take notes on the places that you visited. You might be able to pull some images of uh, maps that you went to on the trip and kind of bring all that stuff together in, in one place. Do you have to have a, uh, uh, an Intel-based Mac for this to work, or will it work on older platforms? It'll work on, on older platforms, but you need to have a copy of the latest Mac operating system, which is Leopard. So this is a Leopard. Oh, this is a Leopard-only application, okay. So what parts of Leopard does it take advantage of that would not have been found in, in earlier editions of uh, OS X? Well, calendar integration, for example, wasn't available in earlier versions of OS X. Some of the graphics that we do, some of the photo management that we do, all of that requires uh, Leopard. And what about compatibility then with Time Machine? Is Time Machine pretty transparent uh, in, with your application? Absolutely. It's a database, so you're going to want to back it up, and you can either back it up from within the database, or it will use Time Machine to back it up. Okay. So now, is is this uh, been released yet, or is this uh, going to be on the market soon? It's coming out next week. We've had a preview version for the last uh, eight weeks. And uh, just to give you a sense of how popular this has been, eight weeks ago we launched a preview version. Since then, 150,000 people have downloaded copies of this. And that's only on Leopard. So if you think about it, that's a limited group of all the Mac customers. Uh, we're really onto something here. People clearly have a need for organizing themselves. They've wanted to use a database for years. They just needed something that was that seemed easy enough for them to get started. And at $49, people are thinking, hey, I can try that. Oh, ab absolutely. So as people are trying to learn more about this, FileMaker.com? FileMaker.com is the place. We have 
uh, a, you know, the free preview versions up there as well, uh, and soon we'll have a trial, as well as lots of information about it and a demo. Okay, very good, Ryan. Thanks. Have a good show. Thanks. Thanks. Kick it.